David was depressed and in despair because of what he saw and what he experienced. Mm -hmm. David was having a hard time. It seemed like the wicked were prospering everywhere. Well, and those who didn't have any concern for God seemed like they never had to deal with the problems that he had to deal with. Same way. Same way. Can anybody identify well, with that? But, but, but when he changed his focus Come on, preacher. and put his eyes on God and on the Word of God, and when he surrendered to God's will, David found the answer to his dilemma. Part of his life, you hear him thing, saying things like in verse 114 of Psalms 119, Thou art my hiding place and my shield, and I hope in thy word. In the 133rd verse of Psalms 119, he says, Order my steps in your word. And then you hear him saying in the 23rd Psalm, The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. I heard him say, He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He said, Yea, though I walk. Yeah, right. uh, through the valley of the shadow of death, he says, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Well, David was a transformed man. He was able to gain the victory over his trials and tribulations because he had confidence in the promises of God and he humbled himself under the mighty hand of God and God exalted him in due season. How do you get from being gloomy to gleeful and, 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 and from where you are to where you need to be? Well, number one, you remember God's faithfulness in days gone by. When you're in the midst and in the grip of trials and tribulations, you got to try to think back uh, to how faithful God has been in days gone by. And then, secondly, you need to read the Word of God. David said, Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. And thirdly, you need to pray and you need to have faith and hope in God. Remember God's faithfulness in days gone. God is faithful and his testimonies and the testimonies of the patriarchs bear record of his goodness. My brothers and sisters, uh, Paul said God is faithful. Uh, who will not uh, suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Uh, and the old folks used to say God won't put no more on you than you can bear. Uh, but with the temptation, he says, he'll make a way uh, for you to escape that you may be able to bear it. Uh, he's, a, he's a way maker. Uh, my God is a, a bondage breaker. He's a, he's a heavy load lifter. Uh, he's a faith, a faint heart fixer. And, and he did it for uh, my fathers and he did it for your fathers and I'm confident that he'll do it for me. Yes, sir. Yes. And, and so the next thing that David did was to go to the Word of God. And when we think that there is no end to our weeping, mm -hmm. uh, we need to check the record. All right, sir. And because the record said weeping uh, may endure for a night, but joy yes. comes in the morning. Yes. We, we, we need to go uh, to the record and, 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 and know that God sees our tears. Yes. As a matter of fact, he's got a book of tears. Yes. Yeah. In Psalms 56 and verse number 8, the Bible says, He put in your tears in a book. Isn't that something? I don't mind crying every night and then because right. yeah. my tears count and God is counting my tears. Amen. But when sickness comes and you have to cry, He sees your tears. Yeah. Uh, he hears your prayer. Yeah. Uh, when evil men make you cry, yeah. God writes it down. And, and when death stalks the corridors of your home, God is standing by. Amen. And one day he'll turn <laughs> your sorrows into shouts, yeah. your headaches and heartaches into hallelujahs. Yeah. Yeah. He'll turn uh, joy for every tear. 
Your tears count to God, and God is counting every tear. David not only remembered the testimonies of the fathers and consulted the word of God, but the Bible says he prayed. Jesus told his disciples, men ought to pray and not faint. Paul told the Philippian church in Philippians 4 and verse 6, be careful for nothing. Don't worry about anything. But in everything, he says, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Why worry when you can give it to God? And the Bible says, and the peace of God, yes. of which passes all understanding, yes. shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. He said, in everything by prayer, with thanksgiving, uh -huh. and not for everything, but in everything. Thank the Lord when you are in your trial. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, you can't thank God for your trials. It's hard to do that. It's almost humanly impossible to do that. I said almost. Uh, when, when you're hurting real bad, it's hard to say, thank you, Lord, for this pain. Uh, the Bible doesn't say uh, uh, for everything, but it says in everything. Thank the Lord when you're in your trial. Jesus said, hope thou in God. He's a God of mercy. And that's why you can put your hopes in God in hard time because he's a God of mercy. He's a God of grace. He's a God of all comfort. And we need to learn to trust in God and trust in his son. I will yet praise him even though the wicked around me are saying to me now, where is your God? Yeah, yeah, you talk about God and you Jesus and you've given your life to God and look what you're going through. Where is your God right now? Okay. And sometimes even we can get so depressed and so caught up in what we're going through, we ask the question, God, where are you? Where are you when I need you the most? Well, he's the same place he's always been. He's sitting high and he's looking low. He's taking care of his children. You may not see results right now, but if you will just hang in there and hold on and hold to God's unchanging hand, sooner or later, the sun is going to shine. Am I right about it? Sooner or later, he's going to lift your burden up. And if he don't change your circumstances, I know one thing he will change. He will change you. Amen, somebody. He doesn't always move your mountain, but he can put strength in your shoulder, put strength in your leg. Praises go up, blessings 